Um, sorry about that, guys. So so far on this on this Beaver Beaver Terrier, um, and you can do this on Yorkie as well. I used the seven blade on his body to go really short and tight on his body, and the seven blade is this right here, which is um, three point two millimeters, and then. I used a 30 blade, which is half a millimeter, under a two comb, and this is 10 millimeters, or three eighths of an inch, and use this reverse to go against the grain to even it all out. Hey, what's up, Suzanne? And then, um, now I'm finished, I'm, I'm doing the scissoring part. Sorry, hopefully the audio's back. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm just making triangles. A triangle right here in the middle of his head. I mean, right in the middle of his eyes. See right there, there's one triangle there. And then I'm gonna do it on the other side here. So I'm gonna comb the hair up. And then do the other side of the triangle right there. See that? So you're making 45 degree diagonal lines, cuts, but if you wanna just think about it simply, you're just making a triangle. You're just making a triangle right there in between his eyes. So, right there. There we go. because they want to see his eyes. They want to be able to see his eyes, but they do like all of this fluffy and round. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now that I got, turn this. Now that I have his, his little <laughs> eyes cleared, see that little triangle right there in between his eyes? Good boy. Now I'm going to make the head round, like a, like a Westie head. And you can do this on a Westie, you can do this on a Yorkie. Any dog, any type of dog that has their ears sticking up like this, you can do. So what I'm going to do here is during the prep, I've already shaved the inside part of the tip. So I shaved this right here, that little tip. And that's just to give me a guide. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna throw my, sis my comb down, show you how angry I can get. You know what I'm saying? Just so everybody's clear about my temper. And then I'm gonna line this up and put my finger right there, my fingertips at the tip. There we go. See that? And then I'm gonna do the other side. <clears throat> and again, this is just making triangle. See, I'm just making a triangle. And go back on this side. See that? So now, there we go. Well, OMG, after not being on camera for so long, like I can feel myself a little nervous and shaking. That's crazy. Wow. I, I thought I was completely over that before. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, now, you see how it's a little messy down there? So I'm just gonna clean that up. There we go. Clean this side up here. There we go. Clean up back there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. <clears throat> so I'm gonna comb all of this hair forward. Here we go, baby. Oh, that's terrible. 
one side. Right up to the, so I'm putting my finger, my fingers right to the tip of the ear where I shave the tip during the prep. I'm just gonna scissor right up to that. Well, one second, buddy. Real coat. You got a little kids or or a bottle about that? Yeah. Look at all the hair. Yeah. There we go. Good boy, Yeager. What is it? What's up, buddy? Okay. Alright, see, so it's starting to get a really nice shape. Jim, you need something to drink, hon? No. No, yeah, I'm good. Thank you so much. Alrighty. There you go. I'll leave it right here. You know what? I'm going to borrow your. No, I'm going to borrow your restroom. All right, there we go. Okay. Starting to look nice, right? There we go. So the goal is, what the goal is, is to try to get like a circle shape right around here with the tips, the triangle tips sticking out. All right, here we go. Good boy. Now the front here, the visor. Okay. There we go, buddy. Okay. Hold on. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm imagining a round little donut, kind of like a round circle around his muzzle. And any hair that sticks out of that imaginary circle, I'm going to snip. And now to clean all of this up, what I like to do is grab my chunkers. nice and soft and round so I'm just gonna blend everything make sure everything looks like it like it fits together there we go I got you Bye, Yank. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no, you're it's good. It's okay, Yank. Yeah. i see you next time, okay, buddy? <laughs> I know, I know. Get all pretty. Wow. Get all pretty for me, okay? You look so cool. Oh, thanks, man. Seriously. Wow. Sure. I need to work on my image. Appreciate that. Yay. All right. All right. Wow. You guys didn't see the hairdresser that just left. His name's Claudio. He looks like a rock star, dude. I need to work on my look, man. Okay, here we go. All right, trying to make everything nice and soft and round. There we go. All righty.
There we go. All right, buddy. There we go. All right. Now let me just get this ear and get this side. Okay, a lot of times I, I can't see the hair that sticks out, the uneven hair, until I see it on the camera. So I'm gonna just, hey, Jaeger, what's this? Let me just I'll flip it around so I can see. Jaeger, hey buddy. There we go. Okay, it's looking pretty good. See how the triangles, triangle tips stick out of that round circle shape? So now I'm gonna work on the legs and feet. There we go. Because we can always soften it up a little bit more, a little hair sticking out here. But I'll do that as like a finishing. There we go. Just to finish the haircut. There we go. Get rid of those cheeks, you know. As I say, I'm going to do it after. I'm thinking of it here. There we go. All right. Now for the feet. For the feet, and I'm just gonna use these uh, short curved shears I have here. I think these are six inch curved. Pretty short, because they're about the size of my hand. See that? All right. There we go. Good boy, you there. Okay. There we go. He's always been a little jumpy for his feet. He's actually doing really good today, though. He usually spins around. <laughs> there you go. We're making a lot of progress. Okay. I like to start at the bottom of the foot here and just trace around the foot pads, the paw pads, there we go, just right around the paw pads, nice and clean. Then, once the foot's resting on the table flat, I go around and kind of bevel the feet. And I like to bevel the feet because I feel like when you bevel it, it gets really nice and close and it's nice and tidy when they walk around and run around the grass. Um, you know, there's less, it's not like a big mop, you know, mopping up the morning dew. So even though they have really nice, long, fluffy legs, I like to kind of pinch it at the bottom here, <laughs> um, right at the feet. And make nice, tight, round feet. There we go. There we go. So you can do this at home. There we go. And the thing is, um, if you are gonna do haircuts at home for your dogs, what you really wanna master is the scissor control. You wanna feel confident holding the scissors. So, you know, practice, 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 holding it properly so that you have control over it. All right. Moving on to the back foot here. Okay. Same thing. I'm gonna lift up the foot, trim around the paw pads. 
And be careful here because it's so easy to snip a little piece of the paw pad off when you're doing this. So again, practice, practice, practice holding your scissors completely still and being able to cut exactly what you want to cut. Alrighty, so then with the foot down, I'm gonna bevel that foot. There you go, get right up against the, the toenails and then just clip like at a 45 degree angle, little diagonal cut. There we go. There we go. So now that foot is nice and tight and round and beveled. Yeah. Do that later. <laughs> oh, the one. I'm trying to finish, finish the cut right now. Okay, so now, here we go, buddy. We'll turn him around. Okay. Come on, buddy. There you go. This way. Oh, let me flip that in. The, imp the, the reason why I like to flip this in is because, let's say he came and turned around, then the scissors here, instead of being out here where he can, you know, run into the tip, the, the tip of the dangerous part is tucked right there safely. So, and I have videos um, showing how to do the flip, scissor flip, if you guys want to see how to do it and practice, because now it's just second, second nature to me. You know, before it was like, oh man, it just feels weird, but the more you practice, the more natural it feels. Okay, so, oh, you're okay, buddy. Again, same thing, rinse and repeat. There we go. I say that this is the easiest part of the groom, and it really is for me, but this is, I have to admit, the most skill involved, and that takes years. So even though it looks like, oh, I'm just, you know, scissoring around really quick, this took years to develop this, the control. There we go. But now I can just, you know, I can just look and just clip exactly where I want. There we go. So now I'm gonna Turn him around. Okay. Double this foot nice and tight. There we go. And that way, instead of like wearing bell bottoms, you know, where his uh, legs are really long and then he has like really long hair around his foot, that's gonna, that's gonna cause a lot of mess. You know, it's gonna tangle up, it's gonna mat. Um, when he goes out in the morning, his feet are gonna get all wet. So this way, he still gets to keep that long hair around his legs. There we go. But it's gonna stay nice and tidy. There we go. Now one more foot. Good boy. Look how handsome he is. All right. Okay. I'm lucky enough to groom his uh, brother or half brother from the same breeder and these guys really are bred really well. I, I groom other beavas, beaver terriers. Um, yeah, so if you are looking for a dog like this, find a reputable good breeder because it does make a big difference. One of my clients, it's actually his brother. Um, he has an older brother that he lives with, not blood related. That one's from a, a questionable breeder. And 
it is, it's like night and day. The skin, the health of the skin, um, their teeth, the health, the oral health, everything. Like it, you could really tell like, wow, you know, breeding, good breeding has, has really does have a lot to do with, um, you know, just getting a really nice, healthy dog. All right. I didn't know that before. There we go. But it makes sense that genetics would have a lot, a big role to play. All right. There we go. But the reason why I, call, I say that the haircut, this part is the easiest part, is that as my skills developed, this part really did start to get easier and easier. But no matter how skillful you become, <laughs> the prep work, combing and brushing out all that, you know, cellular dander and debris and everything that just gets jam-packed in those pores, gets clogged up in there, combing all of that out, brushing it all out, getting the skin properly clean and, you know, pre prepared for the bath. And then the washing and drying, doing that properly. All of that, I feel like it never gets easier. No matter how skillful you become, <laughs> that part is always going to be labor intensive, you know, laborious. But this part here, the haircut, the, the more skillful you become, it really does become the fun and easy part of the groom. And, you know, there, there has to be a fun and easy part, right? <laughs> okay. There we go. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna just clean up here a little bit. Hey, buddy. Turn that up. Alrighty. Tidy that up. <clears throat> so now, his head, I feel like it's pretty much done. You see that? Oh, nice and tidy and round. You have the little triangle points sticking up out of the ears. There you go, buddy. Now I'm just gonna tidy everything up. And he will be done. So what I like to do is go through and just double check everything, double check my work. Oh yeah, that's right. I still haven't brushed out the tail. It's a little bit. So I gotta thank my friend Ashley. Ashley Pack down in Orlando, Florida. While I was down there um, grooming that crazy psychotic dog, Charlie, this past weekend, I had an opportunity to stop by Ashley's place because uh, she's there in Orlando and just had a great time. Um, you know, it was, it was just really awesome to spend, spend some time with a good friend. Anyways, um, she gave me these two cones from Gem and they're, they're kind of like the Chris Christensen, but they're by a company called Gem, G-E-M. But yeah, I really like this. So check this out. I'm gonna... See, he usually freaks out for the tail. Yelps, cries. But see, it's nice and gentle. And it gets out all the tangles and the mats. Look at that. And I did, I, I did comb out the tail before the bath. But it's just, you know, the... 
the little hairs that I miss because there's so many of them. There we go. Okay, so now that's all brushed up. Gem brush right there. Thank you, Ashley. I love it. But I did text her in total thank you so much. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. And I did get I did get a message um, from somebody on a comment was saying like I should I should have uh, visited Suzanne Suzanne and Suzanne if you're watching I'm really sorry I I just didn't have a lot of time I was just there for that grooming and I had to come right back because um, you know my daughters are in town I had to come back and you know make sure they're okay and also my dogs and I had I had grooming you know my own grooming clients here so. Yeah, I had to fly right back on Sunday, so I'm sorry. I really didn't have time to go over to Tampa. But, yeah, I think I think there's a plan, right, in the works? I was I was contacted by Go Groomer Amy, and she was telling me that there are some plans in the works. So, yeah, hopefully we'll make it happen soon. Um, the three of us can collab, right, get together and groom. There we go. So I'm just going through and just combing out this stuff so that he stays nice and soft and clean. Oh Alright. Good boy. So smooth. So silky soft. finish up I'm just gonna go through with this fine tooth uh, undercoat rake and then just get a little bit of undercoat that's still left in there the dead undercoat this is gonna make him so fluffy soft silky soft and fluffy all that stuff there we go <clears throat> then I'm just gonna go through with this There we 
go. Get up really close. Make it nice and soft and round like a little rabbit's foot. And right here I see it sticking out a little bit too much here. There we go. pieces that stick out. There you go. And just blend it down. Just pin it down. I really do feel like as groomers, um, especially, you know, when you're blending everything and thinning everything and just, I feel like we are sculptors. It's just that, you know, um, our, our sculptures move around on their own and sometimes they bark at you. <laughs> Careful, watch out for his private parts there. There we go. Handsome boy. Good boy, Jaeger. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Let's get one final look at them. Alrighty, look at that. Nice Jaeger, nice and fluffy legs. Good Jake, good job, buddy. <laughs> awesome, yes, he 